Hey guys, Johnny and Lawrence back for the next episode of Project Ozone 3 Kappa Mode. Hello. So, in between episodes, we did a few things. Uh, most notably, the sifting has changed quite a bit. So, last episode, we built the auto dissolver. Yep. So, we set this one up to make gravel. And since then, I have set up another five. One which takes cobble into gravel into sand, and one that takes cobble into gravel into sand into dust. So, yeah, that's quite nice. Unfortunately, we're running a bit of a power issue now, but we, we're going to start working on that this episode, I think. Um, one thing I have used as well down here is these phantom redstone faces. So this lets you connect to redstone, like, remotely. So these Ender I.O. pipes are set up to extract on a redstone signal and this is set to send a redstone signal when it gets one. So if we go upstairs, I have set up these levers. So now we can literally, if we want to sift gravel, flick the switch and you'll see that filled up with gravel and it started sifting, which is quite nice. Same for all three, um, but it is very handy. Yeah. Although a little bit laggy. It is. Um, we also got rid of the glass because we thought that might help, but I think it's just the sheer amount of items when it's sifting. Yes, there are a lot. Um, I don't think there's much else we've worked on. Um, I mean, I worked on some stuff, but did you, that's, that's fine. I didn't yeah. know that. I forgot. What did you work on? Um, so, I finished my mana setup. Um, so this is all... Very pretty and oh, symmetrical. Sorry, I totally did know that, and it does look yep. very nice. It's not running at the moment because the mana pools are full, um, but I'm also using a phantom face. Um, and I'm using, uh, if I pop over here, mm -hmm. a. So this, this phantom face is receiving blocks of uh, coal coke from our smelters. So. Hopefully the infinite coke coal essentially. Yep. Yeah. Um, so the coke coal flows into here, which is linked to this precision dropper, which you can't actually see because it's surrounded by uh, mana spreaders. That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that pumps it full of um, coal coke blocks. And then up here, I've done a little bit of redstone work. It's really not a lot. But um, essentially, mana pools, you can output a signal when a comparator is placed next to them. So I've got this comparator attached to this uh, mana pool and a redstone torch here. Basically, when this uh, mana pool is full, it will send out a redstone signal. It will go, okay, this is uh, the same as the redstone torch signal or greater. So it will output a redstone signal. And then I've got a redstone uh, phantom face linked to the air block here. So this thing goes, okay, I've got a redstone signal, which means that this has a redstone signal, which turns the dropper off. So in th I say in theory, I'm pretty confident in theory <laughs> that um, we will never waste any coke coal either. That's um, good. Nice. Just because I want to see it going off. It does look quite nice going off, to be fair. And now they're all synchronized because they're all going off at the same time. Ooh, probably looks even nicer. It does. It, it still kind of, oh, that's it, full again. That's or it, no, full again. Oh, no, the flowers would have been full and the flowers have now been drained. And so now it's starting to burn through cocoa, which is being dropped down there. You can just see it. I don't want to get too close because I've got a magnetized tote to uh, okay. Um, but yeah, that will just continue to tick away and fill up the mana pools. It fills them up really quite quickly. I mean, there's a full mana tablet, which That's, I have. That is nice. That is very nice. Used for at the moment. <laughs> but yes. But no, so on to this episode. So like I say, we are interested in power. And power is a big issue. We can't run all of those dissolvers at once. And if we want to run a root at the same time, it's just, it, we can. So we could beef up this setup, which is one option. Or yes. what we are thinking is getting into big reactors, sorry, extreme reactors. 
So we've had a quick flick through and we think we can do all the stuff to make this. There's a couple of gotchas, which is the reactor controller needs a uh, ender resonator, which for one, which means we're going to have to get into the slice and splice and ender IO, which I actually haven't looked at the recipe, but I feel like we can do this. So I think that's probably the best place to get started. So if we look at some solarium, I think I have actually made this off camera once before, but I don't think we've done it on camera. So it's just some soul sand and some gold, if I remember. And also, actually this is something we did. I was very fed up with our alloy smelters. So I've upgraded them to the enhanced alloy smelter, which wasn't really tricky. So, I have a quick look at the recipe just so you can see, but the only new stuff is the enhanced machine chassis, which needed N-steel chassis, which was just basically a load of N-steel, and that was only just N-stone, dark steel, and obsidian. So, yeah, Good we thing. just went ahead and did that. <laughs> Good thing someone mined up a load of N-stone last episode. You did. We totally used your N-stone. Um, I also forgot. I, did we mention the... Yeah, we made the compactors last episode. That's fine. I did also make a pulverizer. Oh, yes. Yeah. This sag mill. Whilst it is faster than the. Um, to be fair, we also made the sag mill. <laughs> yeah, we also made the sag mill. But although the, although the sag mill is faster than the. Or the simple sag mill is faster than the immersive engineering crusher, it's still relatively slow. And I needed a lot of hardened glass. So I made the pulverizer and then upgraded it because you can. That is fair. I think that's fair. So we need to make a thing. Because I uh, forgot I'm, already. I'm a glad that was specific. <laughs> a soul machine chassis. And that is just a simple machine chassis which we made before in some soul attuned dye blend. Um, organic brown dye, which is just the way we made it, was some brown dye pink slime, well, any slime, and some pulverized coal. Crushed quartz we're getting from the sifting and organic black dye we've made before, which I think was a similar recipe. Maybe coal and a slime. Yeah. So I'm just going to go smelt these two things together, and that should get us our soul chassis. And then that just leaves us with some iron bars and energized... Ugh. Energized by metal gears. So we're going to need a few things, but it's all stuff we can do. So that's fine. Nothing too tricky in there. Um, I just need to grab them pretty much. But let's see, are these all ender IO ingots? Probably not. So we need some iron. Hopefully we have some. We do. I'm going to take an extra one for the nuggets. Um, some infinity dust, which because we have those seeds now, is super easy, energetic, and this is where having two chests becomes a bit of a pain. <laughs> yes, there is stuff spread out through both of the chests. Yeah, it, it's frustrating. But until we get applied energetics, which, you know, maybe isn't a million miles off, I, d I don't know. Yeah. Not really looked. We should have looked. We should most definitely have looked. Maybe, yes. I did actually have a look at another storage solution as well, which was from uh, Quantum Storage. So this has like a multi-block thing, which is made with uh, storage frames, heat conductors, storage units, and storage I.O., which is quite cool. But the issue we faced was there is no search. So, I mean, we could use it, but... Yeah. It would be a pain. No search. <laughs> I didn't like not having a search. Um, and to be fair, we did that in a test world just to see how it worked. So it wasn't very exciting. But what am I looking for? Energetic. That's what it is. I only made one gear, it turned out. So that was not yeah. much use. So four of them, four of them. Should be able to get this next one whipped up. Nope, because I need another grain. <laughs> it's going so smoothly. It sounds like it. Is there anything you needed me for? Most definitely. Actually, do you want to make me an axe and 
the other thing is slice and splice Me needs an axe and some shears preferably mm -hmm. as good as we can get but anything will do um uh, slice yeah so here we should have the slice and oh, i keep forgetting every time i forget something so let's go get a zombie head uh which ooh, we only have one one million zombie heads I suppose I can spare one for this slice and splice. <laughs> just, just, just one. Yeah, just one. We don't want to go crazy with this stuff. I mean, cool. Slice and... Actually, I did grab a stack. Oh, well. I'm just going to throw that over. <laughs> Nobody needs extra zombie heads. <laughs> but quest complete. That's quite nice. And I'm going to be super lazy. I'm just going to chuck it down here for a second. So that does need a capacitor, which I'm also going to be super lazy for and just steal it out of this machine. So we'll put that in there, and now it's getting power. And what is the next step? So we need to make this ender resonator. So that's for the reactor controller. So I think this is a good place to start. We just need two solarium, an enderman head, vibrant alloy, and some silicon. So maybe, maybe I will remember all those things. Probably not. Probably not, no. And we also need your axe and... Okay. I was things? just seeing if there were any other shears that it would uh, cut up down there. It's literally just dark steel or normal. Alright, I thought uh, it could take quite a lot. But nope, just, Basically, just I thought those. it could take anything. Well, yeah, well, I've made the dark steel shears and stuff. Where are you? Where are you? I am at the thingy. And hopefully, if you shove in the axe and shears. Yeah. Boom. Awesome. Ender resonator. And how much time did that do? Just take one durability off each. Oh no, three off the shears. Ouch. Wow. But uh, that's that got. So now the next thing for the controller is the microcontroller tier two. Um, this is going to be a bit trickier. So this is gold nuggets, block of redstone. That's fine. Chest, printed circuit. I don't know if you want to make me a printed circuit, actually. Just some clay gold and green dye. And I can start down the rabbit hole of the microchip tier three. So this needs a transistor, which needs an energized capacitor, which needs two energetic silver capacitors and vivid alloy and glowstone. And yeah, this is a bit of a rabbit hole, which that then it needs two like silver it. capacitors. And we can just craft silver capacitors. So I think. If my mass is correct, we're going to need two of these, which means four of these each, which means eight, I think, eight silver capacitors, maybe? Was it just the one printed circuit you needed? Yes. Okay. Maybe it would have been worth if I got you to help with the... I mean, I mean just in case my mass is wrong, double this. Yeah, because it's me. And I often get it right. I mean, yeah, probably. Ouch. It's not very nice. So I also need some silver nuggets. And we don't even have any silver in there, let alone nuggets. So, yeah. Don't know why. Let's just take some of those. Get the energetic silver ones up and running. Awesome. So now we've got to get the... Sorry, that was just the silver capacitors. Now we need to get the energetic silver. So that needs... Oh, that was a quest. That is quite nice. Yay, quest. Energetic silver and pulverized coal. And I'm some hoping, hoping we have pulverized coal. Do we? Yeah. Yes, we do. Okay, so I should be able to take these up to our empower, a ridiculously duplicated empower setup put them on there them on there boom one going done 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 and i need an empty hand to pick this thing off super nice that's a quest as well Phil. that's quite nice i am i am liking the quest completes today and yeah i think i did double this unnecessarily but yeah. Oh, well. It means we have some in stock, just in case. We do.
do. But in that case, I should have really grabbed the Vivid Alloy at the same time. That would have been sensible. And also, by some, we're going to have, like, a spare one. <laughs> yeah. But uh, that's fine. I'm just going to take a stack. I can't be... But Whoa! I don't know what my mouse is doing. <laughs> just crazy spun round for some reason. Fun, I guess. It's, it's fine. It's fine. I'm sure it's fine. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to see here. Hackers. I'm blaming the hackers. Nothing wrong with hackers. Hackers mm. are fine. Mm. As long as they're not hacking my stuff. It's all that matters. Energized capacitor. That was actually less painful than I was expecting. Um, That's good. Do you want to make two redstone reception coils? Because I feel like you probably have done that before. Yeah. Can I remember how to make them? No. Yeah, you totally can. To totally. Yeah, Just two of them. In you. Right. Just two. Two would be amazing. And I will grab the copper, which we are surprisingly low on. Well... I mean, smelted copper, anyway. Yeah, so I actually just need your two redstone reception coils. I'm doing them. I know, I maybe told you that a bit late. So I will grab two redstone. I got that, you just chuck them at you. Well, too slow. <laughs> uh, diamond? Can you go grab me a... Can you go make some diamond chips? I need six diamond chips. That would yep. be also pretty awesome. How do I make diamond chips? You need a cutting wire. Oh, okay. Course. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, that's that's so expensive. Is it? It's an iron nugget and two sticks. Yeah, it's not. I'm sure you could survive with that. And when you're doing that, I can grab the other stuff we need for the controller, I guess. That should be some red alloy ingots. A chest, which we have in abundance. There are a lot of chests. Yeah, we do have a lot of chests. I'm quite bad for making too many chests. Oh, I need a gold nugget. I need four, unfortunately. Was it six that you needed? Uh, it was six, yes. There you go. Awesome. I think I think we should be able to make this now. Then. Nope, I don't have them. There we go. Um, one, uh, sorry, two micro tip chip tier threes. And now we have the microcontroller case tier two, which I think means we have none of the stuff to make this nope <laughs> okay can you also make me a redstone comparator uh we might yes. even have some actually i don't think we do mm. um we don't have any right i need electrum so i actually made a bunch of electrum plates somewhere there we go there's four stacks i'm gonna assume we need all four so everything pretty much uses these reactor casings, which requires a reactor casing core, and that needs four electrum um, graphite, which I've also made probably too many of, and some redstone alloy, which is something that we hadn't made before. Um, so this uses the red alloy in the alloy smelter. Where is, have I just picked up the wrong stuff? I think I've just picked up the wrong stuff. No, no, here it is, yeah. So the red alloy plus some silicon plus some graphite. So we've got silicon seeds, that was fine. Red alloy we've seen before, it's just iron wrapped in redstone and graphite is just smelting coal or cooking coal, whatever you want to say. So we should, minus the simple machine chassis, which I did make up a buttload. I, I definitely technical buttload term there we go 64 reactor casings done important question mm -hmm. was it a metric buttload <laughs> i will tell you once we start building the big reactor and realize we have not nearly enough <laughs> um, i also made a lot of mvar plates i think i went a bit overboard on the mvar plates <laughs> <laughs> but... oh, i'm sure they will get used eventually we will never ever need to make them again, I don't think. Yep. Maybe like episode 100 or something. I checked your comparators at you. Oh, okay. Um, also, I realize, yeah, we, we're going to make a bigger reactor than what we have here. We're actually going to need a lot more uh, simple machine chassis. 
do you mind making another stack of those? Yeah, can do. That would be awesome. Um, so we got the reactor casings. We should be able to make the controller now if I grab some Eulorium from over here. And um, we're going to need a fair few of this to power the reactor anyway, so I might just go smelt a bunch. And we can just chuck that in here. And our furnace is super fast, so that is nice. Reactor casing? No. Reactor controller? Done. No quest complete. Oh well. So now we need the reactor redstone port, which I need more gold and redstone alloy. On the upside, they, these aren't too bad recipes so far. Uh, they don't seem to be terrible. Nah, it's totally fine. There we go. I think I'm going to want two redstone ports, maybe. I'm going to make two. Are yeah. those the redstone flux ones? Flux. No. no. These are the ones that you can use to power on and off. Although that is a very good point. I do not have the, the flux thing, which is quite important. That's how you get your power out of the <laughs> reactor. So let's hope that isn't crazy. It is not. Thank God. I'm very happy to hear this. <laughs> um, although I totally forgot what it is already. Energetic energetic silver, I think it said. Maybe. I wasn't listening, to be honest. I don't think I actually say it out loud, to be oh, honest. Okay. Good. Uh, so the access port, I think this is for putting in the eulorium and the getting out the cyanite. Maybe. That is what it's for, is it not? Sorry, the what? The access port. Uh, yes, it's, yeah. Input of Yellorium and output of Cyanite. Yeah. So we should be able to make... The... I still forgot the pistons. How do I always forget the pistons? To be fair, pistons are quite forgettable. I did make a stack full before we started, because I feel like we're going to get through a lot of pistons, just with translocators and stuff. No. Yeah. So I think... Oh, no, this is why I made a load. Because for the control rods, it's a piston pair. Do you remember how many control rods I said we were going to make? Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay, so we are thinking of doing a 5x5x10 five by five by to begin with. Not crazy, but it should be like a significant bump on our... Um, power. Power, yeah. And you've made some hop graphite, and I'll yes. grab some graphite, because I can't remember what kind of graphite I need. Oh, I might need to make you some more. I forgot, I forgot the red stuff. You yeah. might need to make me some more. Oh, uh, I, I ran it through the crusher, but I didn't finish it. Hmm. That makes sense. I didn't put it into I the missing? squeezer. What am I missing here? Eulorium. I do not have enough Eulorium. Well, that's fine, because I just made a bunch. You did make a bunch. I saw that you had made a bunch. Did um, you? How, how can I not do this recipe? Oh, crap. Oh, no. I don't know what happened there. There. Yeah. But, anyway, we have the 13 control rods, and that's all that really matters. So, lastly, we're going to need a buttload of fuel rods. Do you want to start working on them? I am still making your machine chassis. Okay. Right, I will go start setting some of this up, I think. Um, what about up on the platform next to where Ender.io currently is? Yeah, sounds good. Maybe? Okay, so I think, what did I say? A 5x5, five five, but that was internal 5x5, five five, so it'll technically be a... 7x7. Seven seven. Yep, and I still can't count. Yeah. This is, this is a common that. theme I'm finding from our recordings that I just cannot count at all. So nope. I'm thinking something like this, maybe, if we can place all these blocks. Nope, because I keep screwing it up. Um, to be honest, I could have used the building gadget to just put this down like in one click. That maybe would have been better. <laughs> Um, so where do we want the controller, I guess? Right, I have just finished making your uh, thingamabob. 
the and by thingamabob, I mean the simple machine chassis. Okay. This is Where, good. What did you want me to do with them? Um, I want you to make reactor casings with them. Reactor casing or reactor casing core? Both, because the core is used in the reactor casing. Uh, okay. I also um. I also want something else, which I forgot. Oh yeah, I realized that we probably need a second flux duct so we can put our spectre relay things directly on the reactor. I figured that might be better. Wait, sorry, upgrade the spectre relays, was that? <laughs> no, that was nothing like what I said. No, that was, I. sorry, I was looking at the recipe for the redstone casing go and got distracted. Yeah, no, I was thinking maybe it's worth having two redstone flux ports so oh, we yeah. can put our spectre... Yeah, that, injectors that directly sense. on them. Yeah, I would agree. Cool. So if you want to make one of those as well, maybe, and we'll see how this is looking. I don't know how much. I, I could probably just be using a wand or something to finish this off, because it's just building up. So what we got? We got three high so far, four, five, six, and six is where we stop because we run out. But. We're just waiting on those reactor casings. <laughs> I know, I'm doing them. Well, I think, how's about once we've got all the the outside built, we will come back and we'll finish building this on camera. Yeah, sounds good. Cool, back in a second. So I think we have all the stuff together to get going. So Lawrence is going to place down the, the what are they called? Uh, fuel rods. Fuel rods. Yeah, so basically you put these all the way like up the inside and then you cap them oh no i obviously can't diamond one them because i don't have a thing there you go there's my diamond one yeah, good. Uh, <laughs> and i think you should be able to do that anyway yep yep awesome so basically these are the full height and internal height and then you cap them all off with the reactor control rods so we can just stick these like this and then we need some coolant. So I've went ahead and melted down some ender pearls. And I'm using a reservoir from uh, thermal expansion, I think. Yeah. So this just basically works as a big bucket. So we can place lots and lots of water at once. Did you just stand in one? Yep. And teleport. Yep. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> um, because it's ender, it, has a, it will randomly teleport you to a block. Which is normally, it sucks because, you know, we don't have flight and you end up God knows where. But we not such a big deal. We should be able to just fill in these final slots now, I think. Yep. And hopefully it should update. Oh, that looks like it completed the multi-block. Yep. Awesome. And we now have an interface in our control. The other thing I forgot to say was the reactor access ports. One is for input and the other one is for output. So you need to go in and click that outlet mode button and that changes color um round the back i've also set up some redstone ports and some automation so i, I will tweak these numbers once it's running but essentially this one emits a signal when it's below 50 percent energy and this one turns on the reactor when it gets a signal so anytime it drops below 50 percent it should turn on is the theory but i've i've disabled that just now i realized that Oh, that's annoying. I didn't realize when you disable an ender out. Well, I did, but it totally gets rid of the the thing. No, okay, that's... so there we go. Output red signal. Reactor's on. It's probably not happy because it has no eulorium. But let's see if it works. It is powering up. Um, yeah, it's making 60,000 RF per tick at the moment. 65, 66. Is it not turned off? That's what I'm confused by. Hmm? I feel like they should have told it to turn off. My redstone must be wrong. So input red, output red. And that is set from signal. Oh, no, I want this the other way around. Because that's active when above. No, that, that was right. That was right. Yeah. Why is it not working? Active fall below 50%. Set from signal. Commit. Why is that not working? Should turn on. Don't know. 
Oh, I tell you what. How's about change control rod insertion? Well, on we want this at zero. Well, off a hundred. Is that better? What's the control rod insertion? Actually, I can't even see where the control rod insertion is. Oh, oh it'll be up the top. top yeah. You? So do I want them in or out? Uh, in a hundred percent will stop the reactor. Or at least slow it down to, like, a crawl. Hmm. Do you want to go get me some... I should have some some redstone or something to see if this is actually outputting properly? Because yep. I feel like it should be. I don't uh, know. So, oh, yeah, it's turned off now. Okay, so it was set up fine. It was I just... totally fixed it. You did nothing. There we go. Well, now this should hopefully turn on and off with the energy. So all we need to do now... Should be moving over our spectre energy coils. Yeah, that you sounds already like pictures up. I, I might have put it onto it, maybe. Okay. Well, I can't pick up yours and place it, so I figured I just. I just didn't raise your pictures up, so hopefully that's not charging. Hmm. Well, do we need to pull out of it? I hope not. Maybe it's got to be on the bottom, which would suck. Okay, rejig. We probably just lost all that energy. Oh yeah, I teleport. I forgot about the mm -hmm. whole teleporting part. Whee! <laughs> okay, there's mine's fixed. Do you not want to move yours? Yeah. <laughs> uh, where did you move yours to? Just it's not moved. It's in my inventory. Just get yeah. rid of it. Yeah. Take it out. Take it out. <laughs> there you go. All right. Go put it on the top. I figured this will work. No. Because then it will be on the bottom. Yeah. Did that do anything? It went down a little bit and then it's staying at that level. So I think what we're seeing is it's pulling the energy out at the same rate that it's going in. What about now? Uh, it went down again. It, but it's not. But it's not going, it's not continuing to go down. Oh, okay. Maybe it is just a visual thing then because the wheat farm is charging up. Yeah. So I think, okay. what, I think what we're seeing is essentially it's pulling out at the same rate that it's going in oh well maybe we didn't need to move them but <laughs> yeah well we've moved them now but now we've got power because we were just testing i've turned everything back on but <laughs> the wheat farm is now back on and i've also turned on all of the auto dissolvers and by turned on i mean put down the spectra coils again <laughs> but uh the other thing i was wanting power for is well we're just going to need power going forward but I want to make farming stations. So we've got some of the seeds set up now in the farming dimension. Well, the void dimension which we're using for farming. Um, but I don't want to have to go auto harvest them. I want to, sorry, I don't want to go harvest them. I want them to be auto harvested. So let's work on this, I think. So I've got them, the solarium. I need a zombie head, ironically. If only I hadn't thrown away so many off the side. <laughs> but uh, I'm just gonna make one for now because we only really are using one area. But uh, this needs some pulsating crystals. Mm, I think we can do all this. I think so. I think it's all stuff we've made. So pulsating iron. Yep, got that. Um, I've lost it already. <laughs> Electric. I'm just gonna get rid of some of this stuff. Like I don't need any of this stuff anymore. Electrotine. I think we should have some of that. We only need four. That's fine. And then lastly, the empowered diamante crystal. We actually don't have an empowered diamante crystal. What? That seems a bit. Oh no, different chest. No. <laughs> I was getting very worried. Um, and then we just need some Vibrant Alloy and Electrotine for this one. Vibrant Alloy. And I think there's enough Electrotine in here we can use. Yep, so that should be everything we need for the crystals. Yep, two Vibrant, one Pulsating. And oh, I've already made those. It's just energized by a Metal Gears. We've done those before. And if Sounds I grab good. two Silicon. We can use our fancy Dan new slice and splice, which 
we will rehome between episodes. Yeah, I'm we, sure. need, we need to move quite a lot of machines about. I think this is starting to get messy. It's a little messy. Yeah. yeah, we'll make a nice like thermal platform somewhere. Oh yeah, we could be doing with thermal one. The Ender Isle ones. We've still not got a lot of machines from it, but yeah. we we got enough that it's probably worth spreading them properly. I swear I made those gears. Oh no, no. <laughs> Oh, I made the better make? gears by accident. <laughs> I went one level too far. <laughs> Is that just on reflex? Oh, yeah, I just assumed I would need the stupid ones. Oh, well. But that's fine. I mean, I'm hoping we have enough stuff to make them. <laughs> mm. Oh, What can I say? Just, just assumed it was going to be crueler than it was. Um, I'm always thinking the worst of people. Of people, of games. People, games, same thing. Yeah. So I just need some energetic, which I honestly think we might be running low on. Ooh, we're good. We're good. If only someone had made some super fast alloy smelters. They, they are pretty fast now, to be fair, yeah. Still not fast enough that I'd like... Because that's like a five-stage process yeah. I mean, to make that stuff. Um, now we just need Solar... Soul, not Sol. Uh, two of those... And I think we can make a farming station. Yep. Yes. Farming station, come on. There we go. Let's have a quick look at this thing. So I feel like it's going to need a capacitor. It does. And it needs a bunch of tools. You don't want to make me more shears and axes and stuff? Yeah, I can do. Another shear, axe, and scythe, I think. If you have a look in that machine, it will tell you what shear, you need. Shear, axe, and scythe. Okay. Is it a scythe? Uh, I don't know. I haven't looked at it yet. Oh, okay. I was just gonna finish popping some things down for uh, Batania. Batania. That was yep. Yeah. Okay. I can walk people through what I've done. Yep. Well, well. If you want to walk people through that, I'm just gonna go over to farming dimension and place some conduits down for when we've got this down. Yep. Why is that not? <sighs> What's wrong? Um. I've set this endless furnace up to produce stone into this phantom phase, and you can't pull from the side? I think that's a pretty standard furnace thing. Yeah, but... I, to be fair, I agree. Up, I would have expected that I'd furnace to be better. set up the lava specifically so that it would go in the bottom. Oh, okay. And now I have to move everything. Ow, I forgot this is... We put ender chests here. That was clever. Yeah. Okay, I don't need to do anything now. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, I'm just waiting on you. <laughs> oh, okay, I will go make my stuff. Uh, what was it? Farming station. No, we got the farming station. Yeah, I, I know. Need but I need to know what it uses. It's right next to the chest. It's here. <laughs> it's oh. Right next to the crates. Uh, Trans. I know what I'm doing. That mm -hmm. looks like a. Oh. Oh. You can put a mattock in there. You okay. could, in theory, put an unbreakable mattock in there. I would imagine so. If only someone had an unbreakable breakable mattock. Okay. I do. That's that problem so I'm taken care of. Well, we're going to need four, so not that problem solved, really. Uh, okay. Um, we just need one for now. Yeah. But... Well... So what we were thinking, oh, if I don't fall off the platform, is this nice storage drawer set up Lawrence made. Um, we are going to have a farming station in each of these four patches. So then, if they just all extract into an ender chest, which is purple, 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 then we can get away from running cables everywhere. And yep. I totally forgot about that, which is why, you know, I went and grabbed some ender conduits and stuff. But <laughs> that one. Um, where were you putting? Where have you put the farming station? Uh, it is in my inventory. Is that not where you want it? Yeah, well, I mean, it can stay in your inventory if you really want. No, uh, I need to go get rid of this ender chest for just a sec. Wow, these are slow to mine. I should have deleted it from the top. Do, 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 do. Wow, that is a really small range. It's a small range. It shouldn't be. It should be fine. Can you see the range? Can you, can you see the range? Yeah, one you can. Oh, now it's just got enough time bigger. Yeah, I just added the capacitor. I didn't have a ah, capacitor. Okay. Okay, so I Ooh. need that there. And where's the ender chest went that I had? There. So we should be able to put you there. 
stick some glowstone on you, stick a item translocator on you. Is this working, by the way? It's not farming. Oh, no, because it's not got power. It can have power now. Oh, what, baby, why? Actually, let me put it on top or it'll bug me. There we go. Is it working? Doesn't look like it's doing anything. Pretty sure rain. Ooh, that is... Oh, I made this perfect. I thought I had, but... Ah. This is not doing what I want, is it? No. No, 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 no. Turn off. Turn off. How do I turn you off? Stop whatever you're doing. Active with signal. It's just harvested everything. Uh, this doesn't work how I want it. It's got rid of the crops. Can't you see? Um, no, the crops are fine. I'm... Oh, it's crops gone, like... are literally gone. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now I see them. Yeah. That is not good. Uh... It's deleted the crop. The... Uh, it looks like it's deleted them entirely. Oh, they've gone into the... Well, there's they... no drawers for seeds. Oh. Oh, yeah. So um, it is deleted. If it's not in that under chest, it's deleted them. Yeah. That's annoying. Unless you've got unlocked barrels over the uh, drawers. No. Oh, this, this isn't working. This isn't working how I want. I don't want it to get rid of the seeds. Oh, this is so annoying. I thought this was going to be beautiful. And it's, to be fair, it didn't even harvest essence. Yeah. I don't think about it. Or maybe it did. Mm. That would have disappeared. No, because I've not even set up the translocator yet. Hmm. Hmm. This is disappointing. Any ideas? <laughs> Alright, we're going to have a quick look into this. And we'll yeah, be back in a minute. I don't. So guys, we played around with the farming station a bit. We read up a little bit online and it looks like the farming station just does not work with crop sticks. Which... Is a shame it also deleted all our seeds and yeah so make sure you have a backup thankfully we do have a backup of all our seeds so we didn't lose anything but yeah that could have sucked that could have sucked real bad yeah. um but instead we found the farmer from actually additions seems to do an okay job so you see the, the range isn't as good so we've got to have four but i don't think this looks too bad um and these don't actually seem to use that much power. So I'm just going to dump power on all these and we should be able to see them going. If I can find my spectre coils. There we go. So pop that on there. Pop that on there. And they should all do like a quadrant each is the idea. And you'll see they've started harvesting. It's a bit of a weird order they decide to harvest. But it's working. Um, underneath what we've done is got four ender chests now. So these just all get piled in, uh, piped in from the farming above and they should automatically go into our drawer system via the bottom end of the chest. Yeah, you just saw a bunch of essence coming through. So this isn't going to be crazy fast because we've not made any growth crystals or anything upstairs, but I mean, just for passive generation of essence, it's going to be pretty nice. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, actually, I think we may have did this off camera as well. We made some electrotine seeds because... We have been using a lot of Electrotine. But I think before we wrap up, um, I totally forgot we did loads of quests off camera because those whole modular whole modular machine things. Yeah, we, we said we would do that off camera and we did. So let's have a look at Alpha first because we got the End Dragon that we never actually claimed or I didn't anyway and the End. Also, we did the Cobblestone Generator 4 and 5 because that's what's piping into the modular machines. Um, we also have done a few seeds so we did the intermediate uh crafting seed so we can make the electrotine that was just pretty much the same as what we've seen before we also had to do the prudentium infusion for that and then epsilon this one's a bit crazy uh we did all of the the hatches we couldn't make the mana output and input at the time but i think we probably can now because lance said to. ton yeah. sorry I think we might be able to, yeah. But that was a lot. I was, I think I was doing Lawcroft whilst you completed yeah. all of those. Um, Got a very long list of notifications of class completes. <laughs> it was a bit crazy, yeah. Um, and then the machine circuitry is the only thing holding us back on this one because it needs mechanism. But we'll we'll get into mechanism soon. 
So claim all those. Um, Eta, we've done the farming station, which I wouldn't bother doing, guys. It is complete waste in this pack, I would say. Yeah, Maybe. especially as it doesn't work with Agricraft. That's sort of like a big yeah. letdown. We're not going to be doing normal farming, so... Also, it turns out in between, like literally this episode in between paused recordings, it, there is an extreme reactor quest, and the only reason we hadn't got it is because we hadn't made the fuel rods yet. So that's a shame. We did get that. <laughs> um, we'll claim oh, those and an MU. Oh yeah, I made a damp crystal at some point, and I think that is it. That feels like a lot of rack. That is three and a bit stacks. So that's yeah, quite a lot. That's that's pretty tidy. Pretty tidy. We we should maybe start looking at some of the other rewards, especially that crazy sword. We should start working Ooh, on that. That soon would be nice. But uh, anyway, guys, it's been quite a productive episode. We've got some yep. automated farming, an upgraded power source, and yeah, I feel like I feel like we've done all right. Yeah, I think we've done really well. But do we know what we're working on next episode? I do not. Uh, maybe we should start, oh yeah, we should start into new metacraft and mechanisms so that we can start looking at applied energistics, I think. Sounds good. Awesome. Well, as always, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll be back soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.